I had no idea what to expect uh, going into it, just because I never heard of it the first year for the game. Um, but every team was out there, all 32 teams, um, like 80 or 90 scouts. So, you know, it was a great opportunity to get out there, show what I can do. Uh, with, you know, they said there's like 90 guys in the, in the game, and probably like a third of them were being drafted. Okay. So, I mean, it was a solid group of guys. And, um, there was actually some guys I played with uh, against in grade school out there, in high school, yeah. <laughs> Alex Albright, uh, who went to Boston College. He played at St. James when I was at Santoninus, and he's at St. X when I was at Elder. Um, you know, we've been friends throughout the whole thing, so it was kind of cool to see him out there. What's any feedback you get so far? Uh, you know, it's, I mean, as a long snapper, you know, being drafted would be very um, rare. I think maybe like one guy every two years gets drafted. Um, but who knows? I mean, I definitely have my name out there. Uh, people are saying, I can't. Being into a camp, I can be pretty certain I'll be somewhere. Um, but the difference is, am I going to be in a camp where I actually have a chance to win the job, or am I going to be in a camp where I'm just taking reps for a guy and I'm just going to go again? So you know, if I show that I can play, then I'll hopefully get to a camp with uh, you know, a better opportunity to play. How do you separate yourself? Um, you know, well, there's just you know, the size, obviously, um, athletic ability, uh, snapping, accuracy, and speed. Those are like you know, the kind of things that are measurable. And then the way I think of myself is what sets me apart is playing at Ohio State for the last five years. Every weekend we're playing for the national title here. So you know, that that has the you know, pressure that comes with it. Um, so while while our guys have been playing, you know, at solid schools, there isn't a place that you know, year in and year out, every weekend you're playing for the national title, and it, maybe later you're playing for the Big Ten title. But either way, every weekend's a championship game. How big a benefit do you think your size is when you're battling? You're, 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 you're a big dude. You know, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but yeah, but. Is that something that can also set you apart? Because well, not every long snapper is as big as you are. Yeah, well, there's like certain guys, there's like kind of maybe like two different kinds of long snappers. There's guys who are um, kind of like the older guys that are weak, uh, kind of bigger, like, you know, like 260, 270. They can't really move real well. And those are like the kind of guys that I think are maybe getting phased out now. And you know, hopefully uh, they're bringing more guys in like me who are, you know, between 235 to 245, 250. That can run and can make some plays for us. So I, I guess more on the athletic side than uh, the, just the really, really big guys. Does it help? Like, I noticed when you would be covering punts and everything, you'd always be down there in the play. You may not be making a tackle, but yeah. you're always down there. Is that something that can set you apart too? Like, obviously snapping is important, but you don't. You don't oh, it's definitely be just like an, another guy. Yeah, out there. that's something that goes into the equation. Uh, they want a guy who can get down there and make some plays. Uh, you can't just be some guy that's snaps the ball and just falls over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some guys, you might as well, because they don't have a chance of making a play. But, and I pride myself on running down there just as fast as B-Roll and Ross and you know, all those guys. I mean, they're, they're faster than me, but uh, they've been playing the whole game, so usually I can get down there just as fast as they can. How many teams did you hear 